Hi, and welcome to the 2020 Economic Recession and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday, August 16th, 2020. And today I want to do something more on the preparation side today um, and take a break from talking about the economy and doom and gloom. Today I want to talk about the top 11 ways that you can earn passive income um, as an additional income source than your paycheck or your retirement pension or your other um, source of income. So I wanted to share with you the top 11 passive income ways. First of all, let me define passive income as money that you make that is not money that you're trading time or hours for money, like an eight hour, 12 hour day for money at or a paycheck at the end of two weeks. This is money that you're making while you are sleeping kind of passively online. Um, and just a disclaimer it may not be millions of dollars, it may not be hundreds of dollars, but even fifty to a hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars a month of passive income can make a big difference or five hundred dollars a month can make a big difference in your finances and helping you to budget, save, and prepare for this uh depressionary wave which is coming up this year and next year. So let's get right into it. Um the first model of passive income is 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 selling information products okay uh, information products are products that you basically sell a skill to someone else you are selling let's say you are a master baker a master chef or a master teacher everyone has a skill or something that they became an expert at in life whether they trained for it professionally or not you can create a course on sites such as udemy.com skillshare.com or coursera.com where you share the revenue with them 50 50 or sometimes with Coursera or Skillshare, you get to keep 100 percent of the profits from your course and you can create an outline in a course and you can have a course up and running in, in less than a month or a month and a half a quality course information products can deliver an excellent income stream because you make money easily after the initial outlay of time Remember now, once you put out your course, your online course through these platforms, they support it. They, they promote it for you. You can even create coupons to distribute on social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Or you can even promote it through your friends and your neighbors um, and emails. And, you, and the only downside is you don't get their email address when you use these sites. But however, you can still promote it to your customers and you can make money that's going to be continuously making money. Um, I have a few courses on Udemy and Skillshare, and I haven't really promoted them and touched them, but every month I make at least a certain amount of money every month um, without even promoting it, just having it on there. So it's always going to be there. Um, the only downside is it's going to take some time and effort to create your product, whether whether you're an expert or not. It's still going to take at least a couple of weeks for you to um, understand the learning curve and to get it in there. But once you master this business model, you can make a good income stream. Uh, working from home, especially working from home, you can do this after your main job. Number two, rental income. Um, if you invest in rental properties, it's a good way to earn passive income. But you know, of course, it requires more work. But let's say I would change this to investing in your in your own thing. Maybe you can rent out a room in your house uh, through Airbnb or through some other service. Maybe you can. Uh, Invest in what they call REITs, R-E-I-T. Um, look that up. Invest in REITs. If you're not going to do physical rental property, you can invest in REITs and have investment trusts, what they call real estate investment trusts, where you have other people manage the property and you get a dividend every quarter based on your investment. And it takes it only takes about maybe five hundred to a thousand dollars to place into the invest in a REIT if you're not going to have a physical rental property or use your house as a rental. Uh, one of your rooms in the house as a rental to a college student who's distance learning from overseas or something like that. Number three, affiliate marketing. Amazon is one of the biggest well-known affiliate partners, but eBay, AWIN, Sell are among the larger names too. What happens is basically they give you a link. Let's say you're selling, let's say Avon or Mary Kay or, or any of these companies, Nike or, or, or one of the products you see on Amazon that you love. Uh, and you want to sell it, they give you a link through Amazon Associates. Look up Amazon Associates Partner Affiliate Marketing Program, and you can place that link on your website, on your YouTube video, on anything. And once a visitor clicks on that link and makes a purchase from your third-party affiliate site, the site gives you a commission. That could be a 5% commission, a 10% commission, or uh, whatever. So 
affiliate marketing is considered passive because in theory you can earn money just by adding a link to your site or social media account but in reality you won't earn anything if you can't attract the readers to your site you know to click on and buy something so the good news is, is this is a low risk way of making money because you're not really investing anything you just put pasting a link all over your website or all over your emails that encourage people to take a look at this product to buy it off of Amazon or some other company. So, but the bad news is it's going to take time for you to generate traffic and to generate people to buy. Um, the next one, um, I'm going to skip these two because invest in high yield CD. There is no high yield CD anymore, especially with the savings rates being decimated and peer to peer. I would go with dividend stocks. Dividend stocks are companies that are going to pay you dividends at quarterly intervals on these shares especially since the stock market is in a bubble right now i would look for high value blue chip stocks that you can invest in that you can get a dividend every month in and you can either re choose to reinvest that dividend or you can choose to um to cash out so you can go through companies like robin hood you can download robin hood at robin hood app and start getting paid dividends on some of these companies look for companies with high dividends low yields Another way that you can earn passive income is to advertise on your car. You may be able to earn some extra money by simply driving your car around town and you can contact a specialized advertise agency and you know they will wrap your car in ads at no cost to you and you will be able to, you already put mileage on your car anyway, you just have to track your miles and um, you will earn hundreds per month with little or no extra cost, especially if your car is already paid for and it's older, you can definitely do that. Drivers can be paid by the mile. Now, um, there's also some other streams of income that I want to talk about, and this is with ebooks. The rise of ebooks and Kindle books are very popular. So maybe you want to write short ebooks. It don't have to be nothing long. It can be 30 pages, 50 pages, um, 20 pages, or 150 pages, and it can be on the subject of your choice. And ebooks are very popular because you have a built in audience through Amazon and Amazon Kindle. And that you can sell to that is one of the fastest growing things um in in passive income stream is ebooks so and then another option that you have is coaching coaching and i mean by there's people that are fitness coaches that are making a lot of money online there's people that are relationship counselors coaches that are making a lot of money online maybe you have a degree uh, maybe you have a degree in social work or counseling. You can use that to counsel counsel people on on the side, and of course, put the appropriate legal disclaimers and things. But just you know, you can be able to counsel people. You can also um, sell. Maybe you're a good salesman, so you can sell old used books, textbooks, college textbooks to kids who are digitally learning now. Because all these schools, because of the sickness virus, are digital digitally learning online. So you can sell back old college textbooks to them through eBay or through Amazon or through another third party site. So there's many ways that um, you can have passive income. There's no one size fit all advice, says the article. But um, how many streams of income should you have? My personal belief is that you should have at least five additional streams of income other than your job or your paycheck if you can. Now, this is going to take time and effort. Like I said, I'm not there yet, but I am every day working towards it. And I want you to be as well, because that's part of preparation and survival of any depression or economic crisis is creating passive income and sustaining passive income as best you can. And the more you do it, the better you get and the more you realize the mistakes you make and the better you can get at it, the easier it is to make money while you sleep. Because Warren Buffett says the only way to get ahead is that you have to be able to find a way to make money while you sleep. Or otherwise, you're going to work until you die. And so that's what Warren Buffett says. I trust his advice because he's a super, super billionaire and I'm not. So and I believe it's true because, you know. We all want to escape the rat race, but we don't all necessarily want to put in a mega ton of effort. But this little bit of effort can save you some money. It can make you some money. And you won't see the results right away. But just like muscle building and weightlifting and weight training, if you keep doing it, you keep doing it, eventually you're going to see some results and you're going to like the results. And that's going to give you the motivation to continue on this path of passive income freedom, making money while you sleep, theoretically. So have a blessed day this Sunday. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below. And uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.